And then when we close the switch, by triggering it, you can see it's completely backwards. See? Now, once you install these in your machine, and again, I'm not a big fan of physical switches. Many guys have asked me. I like soft limits. These can eventually fail. I've seen many fail. Unfortunately, I get many emails regarding potential clients with switch failures or switch malfunctions. And I'm telling you right now, my recommendation is do a preventative maintenance or a PM on your robot after 10 hours of use. Once these are installed and I get the question, well, Vin, I can't, I can't actually connect anything because I'll have solder leads on here. I can't access them easily in my robot. That's not true. Take your cable, use your probes, and just use your probe for whatever conductors we're connecting to. So you'll connect one probe to normally closed if, for instance, your switch is set up normally closed, and one set up for the comm, and you'll get tone either way. And you'll see, just like this, whether a switch is there or not, you'll get the same uh, action. So, again, testing optimally, optimally is done after 10 hours of system use, once again using your timer inside of the maintenance schedule within Mach 3 or other motion control software. Now, coming over to an e-stop, now many of you are familiar with these. This unit will literally save your machine in the event something happens, and again, no different than a switch, but this, this one's actually taken for granted, and I cannot emphasize enough what you need to check and should check prior to doing any system builds.